hello today I'm here with a new video and a new free looks one palette as you know I love to do these videos and I love to watch them and I don't like to editing them because it takes a shit loads of time because I talk so freaking much about them. we are using the tri we are I am using the tri palette from Juvia's Place if you want to see swatches and all that yes i leave my first impression up here i swatched all the shadows so this is the palette um yeah and spoiler alert i love it so if you want to see me do free looks with this just keep on watching just keep on looking just keep on watching and i will leave timestamps down in the description if you just want to see one of the looks or the review in the end of this it's not a long review, it's just I talk about the palette a little bit, what I think. So if you want to see these free looks, just keep on watching. Okay, so it's time for the first look with my tribe palette from Juvia's Place. And I already have my eyebrows on because they were on. I'm about to film and I didn't feel for taking them off. So, the first look. I think I will do something pretty dark. So I will start with Asante, this, I don't know how to describe it, it's brown but it's like mustardy and it's, yeah, I don't know. So I will start with this in my crease and this shadow. I don't feel that this is a shadow for everybody and... But it's a shadow in my... It's my cup of tea, if we say it, say it like that. I really like this and I think my studio light is... A little bit off. Okay, I don't know if that is... <laughs> I... Maybe like that. It feels like this kind of shade that it can either go with a green look or it can go with a brown look, or it can go with like a mustardy orange look. I don't really know what kind of shade that it, this is, but I really like it. It's pretty grungy. Have I been having Oreos here like the whole time? And you haven't said anything? Yes, I have been eating Oreos. If you didn't know this, this Oreos is vegan. Love that. So stop talking about Oreos and do my makeup. So I will take San, this dark green. I haven't said to you what I'm going to do yet, but I think I will do a halo eye because I really love doing halo eyes and these two shadows did go great together as well I have really started to like green as you may have noticed because I tend to do green quite a lot now I can never fix this I can never do this right because this is not even on the eyes. I don't know if you want me to do like music in my Free Looks One palette instead of me talking when I do my makeup because you can easily see what I am doing. The only thing that's wrong with me is that I like to talk. And not in real life, I hate to. I don't hate to talk, but I am a... I'm not a big talker, if we say it like that, but when I do my videos, it's like the f where I am able to talk, and I like to talk in my videos, but they get so freaking long, it takes long for me to edit, long to upload, and takes a lot of time for you to watch um so do you want me to do 
I will never do voiceovers, I think, because I hate the sound of my own voice. <sighs> Even though I like to talk, but I think I will never do voiceovers because I don't think it's something for me. But do you want me to put in music instead of talking when I do the Freelux One Pilot? Just let me know. Maybe I can mix it up a little or... Yeah. Okay, I will take Kuba. And this shade is actually... Oh, I don't spray this or anything, and no sticky paste like that on this look, it's amazing. I had a little hard time with this shade, what it's called, because the spelling is a Swedish, it's the Swedish name for Cuba. We say Cuba, and it's spelled like this, so I always want to say Cuba, but I think it's Cuba. Okay, this blended in amazing. It feels like these are kind of the same shade, but one, like these two, they are kind of the same, but this is shimmer and this is matte. But also this looks more blue than this in the pan, but on the eyes I really like it. I think that this looks pretty cool. Okay, so something like that. I think I'm done with the lids and I think I like this. A shanty shade in my crease and I will just go over with the brush that I had in my crease to blend this edge out a little bit more or maybe this looks like shit I'm not sure I think I like it at least maybe you don't but I think I do so I have a crazy amount of fallout I don't know so I will take that way I will fix my base and we do the under eyes and also choose lipstick together and I think I already know what I want to do for lipstick so I will fix this and then I will be back and we fix the rest. So it's time for under the, 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 the under eyes and it has been a little while I have been eating and stuff like that but now we're going to finish this look finish up this look and for my under eyes I want to do something that I have never done before I think I've never done it. I will start with Ashanti, the one that I had in my crease. I don't know if this is the right order to go. We'll try. So I will tap this off and put it on my lower lash. So something like that and I will do the same on the other eye. So something like that and then I will go in with on this one on a small pencil brush and try to put it near as close to my lower lash as I can. I mean, think I should have done this the other way around. First take the dark shade and then smudge it out with a lighter shade but it's too late for that. But I think this works out. I don't know if you can see any difference. I really hope you can. So I think that this turned out pretty good. So I will put on the lipstick, put on mascara and also something in my waterline. I think I will go with dark green just to keep it green. <laughs> keep it green. So I will fix that and then I will come back with a complete finished look. So guess what? <laughs> go with the red lip for my green eyes. So for my waterline I used Fast Lane from Colourpop. I love this. And for my lips I used Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star. I like this look. I am so pleased with this first look and there is so, two more to go. So we just hop in to the second look. So it is time for look number two of the tribe and I think I want to do something pretty light today. It was pretty dark the first look so I want to do a light earl look today and I think I know what I want to do but a lot of times I think I know what I want to do and then when I start doing my makeup I'm like ah, this is not a good idea so we will see so for 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 the start I will take Maasai this one 
and put it in my crease and I love this shade. I don't know how light this is going to be because I have only had this in my inner corner but I like this one. And when I have such light color in my crease I... Okay, I was going to say I take it really high up but um, I always take my crease color pretty high up. So to deepen this down a little bit, I will take a Tootsie, this green, and put it in the middle of my crease. And I just take a little pointer blending brush and go through my crease again. Okay, and now we're coming to the part that I am not sure about this, but I will try to see if this works. This maybe will flop. <laughs> we will see. I will cut my lid, I will cut my crease, and I will put Coro on my whole lid. I'm not sure how this is going to look, but I guess we just have to wait and see. Okay, I used Colourpop No Filter Concealer. I just put it on there and like that. But I have done a cut crease a couple of times now and I don't know if I think that this step is necessary for me at least because it feels better if I just feel where my crease is if that makes any sense okay maybe I shouldn't have said that because in here it didn't go as I planned just go with the Low. Okay, so I will put Coro on this one. So this light shade here, just smack it on. Okay, so I don't really know what I feel about this, if I'm going to be honest. I think I will go back with Tootsie again. Okay, to place Tootsie over this one, it looks freaking amazing. So I will take Tootsie. only thing I don't like about this look right now, it's in here, um, it's not in such good shape. But I think I maybe can live with that, because I think this turned out pretty cool, if I'm going to be honest. It was not what I have imagined. But I think I like it, and I think I will go in with to see a little bit more in my crease. Okay, I am not really sure what I think about this. It's just this part is bothering me pretty much. So I will try to do the same on the other eye. Maybe not fuck it up in the in the corner. I will take away the fallout, and I will fix my base and my brows. And then I come back and we fix the under eyes together. So I'm gonna fix this on this one. <laughs> and then I come back and we fix the last with this second look. So time for the under eyes. And I think I only will use Tootsie for this. 
I think. So I will take it on my favorite brush. For this, it's our V brush from Makeup Geek. Is their name? And just take it. <laughs> and I don't think you're going to be able to see what I'm doing because I can't film this in good angle. So like this, and then I will put on some mascara, a pen in my wash line. I think I will take this. This is an from NYX. The Wonder Pencil, it's just like my skin tone. I don't have a light green pen. I really would like to have one, but I don't know any brand that has one. And uh, put on lipstick, and I think I will take Blair from Nabla. I would love to go with a red one, but then I want something a uh, warmer red, but I had red in uh, the first look. We'll see. I maybe go with Blair or I go with something red. You will see when I will come back. Okay, so you can guess which color you think I go um, with which color I picked for this look if it was Blair or a red one. It's a red one. <laughs> of course it is a red one. Um, it's Kid and Heels from NYX uh, Liquid Suede. I love this and this is pretty warm red and I thought that a warm red would go great with this look and the green and red is a lovely calm combo. So this was the second look with the tri palette from Juvia's Place and if you want to see the last look just keep on watching. So it's time for look number three with the tri palette from a useless place and I'm not going to do a green look today because I have done two green looks so today we will start with Oromo this orange shade and I will put this in my crease and I want to use all the colors from this palette and this free looks one palette and I think I am going to fix that. In my first impression with this palette I talked about this Ormo that I loved it and uh, I still do. If you don't know orange is my favorite when it comes to eyeshadows. I love orange um, I also love red and yellow, but orange has a special place in my heart. And I think a little bit of that is because I have like blue-gray eyes. And orange really makes my eyes pop, so I love orange for that. So, that was the orange. The Oromo. Now I will take Kurla, this one. This is like one of my favorite shades ever. I also used this in my first impression. And I don't know if this look is going to be pretty similar to my first impression. As for right now, it is. But we're going to do something else as well. And do you see how easy this is? And I'm trying to speed this last look up a little bit because I think this video is going to be pretty long. And then I will take this one in the middle, Shaga. I haven't used this in any look, I think. And this color, when you look at it, it looks pretty brown. But then when you swatch it, it has, I don't know if you can see, it's like gold green. I don't know if a swatch, do you see this? It looks freaking amazing. So I will take this on the other half of my lid and I hope that this will work. I'm not sure. I am not sure how this is going to look. But I think it will be pretty good. 
this shade this palette when I just saw pictures on it I I was like okay it's it's a nice palette then I saw people use it and then I saw swatches on it and it is such an amazing palette it's such easy colors to work with easy shadows they blend out like a dream and I'm just in love with both of these and I think that these go pretty good together not pretty I think this goes really great together so I will take away the fallouts and then we will fix the under eyes and I'm not sure what I want to do with my under eyes so for my under eyes I will do the same so I will take both Curla and Shag I think the name is on my lower lash and I will see how much I will keep in the video because as you know when I'm doing my under eyes you ain't seeing shit so the shadows are on on the lower lash and for my wash line I took Levi Flash from Linda Halberg and I think I like it so I will put on mascara and also a lipstick and then I will come back with a finished third look and also with my little review of what I think of the palette so just going to fix the last things and then I will be back so I am back and yes it's a red lip for this one too and uh, I used Hanging Rock from Nabla as you know this is one of my all time favorite lipsticks ever so this is my third look with the tri palette from Juvia's Place and while I was doing this look it's pretty similar to my first impression it was like nobody wants to watch the same look all over again but I need to stop being so hard on myself so this is my third look and I really love it I think I love the lipstick to this um, maybe I shouldn't use a red lipstick for all three looks but you know me I'm a sucker for red lips so this is the third look and now I'm going to talk a little bit about the palette so what do I think about the tri palette from UVS, UVS Place I love it I love it so freaking much this will definitely be one of my favorite palette, palettes of this year and it's only March and I'm saying that now but I love this so much I have used all the shades now and I love each and every one of them all the shadows are really easy to work with um, maybe this Maasai if you really want it to be really popping use a sticky base a really sticky base otherwise you don't need it for the shimmers you don't need it the mattes are amazing like this shade I get that this is not for everybody but I love that this goes with both green looks and orange so this suits like all the colors in this palette and I think it's amazing so I really love this even though it maybe don't look so put together like you can use them all together I think you can and I love that about this palette so super good palette you get you just did such a good job with this one this will might be one of my favorite youth place palettes and i have eight of them and i love them all but this one is something special i really love it i can't recommend it enough and i think i'm just going to stop babble so it doesn't goes on forever but really recommend i can really recommend this i really love it it's a super good palette so I really hope you like this free looks and please let me know which look was your favorite. I think I love them all. I love this because this is more warm and a little bit orange. I love that as you may know. Uh, I love the first look because it was so dark and I really loved the dark red lipstick for that. And also the second look. I loved it because it was so bright. 
So yeah, I am really happy with these free looks and it's going to be so fun to play with this more. I don't really know what I'm going to do for videos with this one, but if you want to see me do something special with this, just let me know and I will see if I can fix that. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and that I will see you in the next one. Bye!